name is Stefan Kraus from Bytebytes and in this tutorial video I'm going to explain you the input terrain feature of World Creator. So let's get started by creating a new terrain. Here we go. Well, let me quickly adjust a little bit the, uh, the uh, pixel error so we can see a highly detailed terrain. So the input terrain feature is used for um, for um, enhancing an existing, an, an existing terrain in form of a unity terrain or a texture. So the first thing I would like to show you is how to enhance an existing terrain by a texture. So let's imagine you have downloaded some dem file from the internet or you have already created some of uh, some, 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 some sort of a height map like, like this here, like, like this reverse uh, height map here. So all you got to do is to uh, scroll down to the input terrain settings and select the texture here and now to drag and drop this input terrain into this field input terrain here. Um, so if you want to overtake the original height map of uh, uh, instead uh, making a copy of it, just select no. And now let's start by just quickly generate this terrain. Here we go. Let me quickly also select the GPU so we are a little bit faster. So what you can see here is if you if you check these uh, these parts here and this part here, you can see that it fits to that what this uh, height map does here. But you also can see that we have some borders around here which might look a little bit strange and um, it's quite a wise it, uh, it doesn't really fit to this what we have here. Just because um, uh, you also can uh, blend the borders of the input terrain with the, with the terrain that World Creator has created previously. So to get rid of these borders here, you also just have to reduce the border blending and now we're getting into a shape that is uh, that uh, corresponds to the uh, to the uh, to the reverse height map. So there's another thing inside Word Creator um, to tell Word Creator that it should be more like um, exactly the uh, the height map that you have imported. You can increase the sample resolution. For example, if you increase it to a value like 256 and hit generate, you can see that now this is exactly almost exactly the same um, in the input terrain. So now you have the original shape of the input terrain. You can see here these steps. This is because, um, I mean this is just a picture, so there's uh, only 8 bits per channel. So it's actually an 8-bit terrain. So that's why these steps here actually occur. Now Word Creator with such a high resolution uh, actually, it just tells Word Creator to to use more of this one here instead of the things that Word Creator is going to create. So the filters that you would apply uh, does uh, will not that much affect this terrain right now. So to make it possible, just reduce it to a low resolution, so the shape itself will keep as is. And uh, now uh, you can just drop in the really cool terrain features. Of Word Creator, let's say you want to transform it to, a, yeah, let's do a fun Minecraft map. Then you apply this, and you have a Minecraft version of the original thing here. You can see it right, pretty well that this fits now very well. And if you increase the resolution again, the more the original shape is going to take, and you can see that Word Creator is going to apply its Minecraft filter also on the original shape. So now this is something which is pretty nice if you have downloaded a map from the internet like a dem file and now let's see how you can do this inside uh, Unity by doing it with the Unity terrain so that's quite easy to do um, go and create a terrain object inside Unity let's move it out a little bit and uh, let's say you want to do a game map so I'm not an artist I'm not going to do a really nice map now just an example map let's do some kind of a smiling face here it's more like an egg face okay so something like this okay um, and now we want to make this looking like a real terrain map so how, how is this bit done just select the work creator terrain scroll down to the input terrain feature and now instead of selecting a texture uh, you're using a unity terrain and all you gotta do is just drag and drop this terrain into here. Um, here you have the option to um, overtake the, uh, the textures and the objects and so on. You don't have one, so say no. And I'll just 
let's quickly generate this tray. Now we have something like this. As you can see, the rough shape is exactly the same. We have we have these uh, smiling face, typical things that we have here. So um, let me quickly remove the Minecraft filter. Hit generate again, so you can see it more clearly. And now, also let's uh, let's uh, uh, say that uh, the thing that we can see here is that we have much higher values here and less higher values here. So we can increase the height scale to make it looking more like this. Now look at this, it's pretty nice right now. And also you can see here that we have nothing around here, so it's, it still doesn't look like a real terrain. Um, so what we gotta do is to first remove the resolution, uh, the sample resolution down to 32. Now we get a much prettier uh, result. Now it looks like a real terrain, but actually we have these flat surroundings here. I want to get rid of them. So now we're removing the strength value here. And now this actually tells World Creator to, to mix this terrain map with the, uh, with the, with the, with the terrain that World Creator, um, with, uh, which World Creator's generator is, uh, is creating. So if we hit generate right now, you can see that World Creator now mixes in some pretty nice things. Okay, so this is something that I would believably think it looks like a terrain. And of course, you now have all the abilities that are also explained in the other tutorial videos, like the masking or the terrain filters and texturing and placing objects um, for your input terrain as well. So let's say you want to transform this into some kind of canyon, add the canyon filter and make a canyon out of it. It's not that problem. Uh, if you just want to apply some kind of erosion, um, scroll down, hit the erosion here, see how it might look if it's been eroded. Okay, so another thing is that um, it doesn't matter what kind of resolution you set up here uh, inside the settings of the input terrain. Um, uh, you just can use as is this terrain, so the, the lowest resolution you have, because it doesn't matter for work creator actually. What is quite important is that you also can increase the height map resolution of that one here, so just let's increase it to a uh, 2K. I'm going to uh, uh, do the calculation right now. Here we go. And now we have a very high resolution version of this. And this one here is a 512 pixel map. And now this is a 2K pixel map. You can see that it, it is going to keep the shape. It is going to keep exactly what you have painted here, plus the additional uh, terrain filters of World Creator. So. If you now think back to the uh, to the texture sample that I've uh, that I've been telling you and showing you here, imagine you're downloading a low resolution uh, real world data because you don't have a higher resolution and you just want to make it looking like whoa it's fantastic you, like I have a virtually much much higher resolution. Then you could uh, just drop in that texture, increase the resolution inside Word Creator, hit generate, and see magic happen. Okay, so another thing is that um, now you might think, okay, but I, I always have to keep a terrain in, in, uh, inside my scene. No, you don't have actually. You can just drag this terrain here, go to overwrite this as a prefab. Now you can remove it from the scene, switch over to World Creator, and drag that prefab into this field here. And if you generate, it still keeps, of course, that prefab value. So that's your current result. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. Uh,